And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday night spice stream. I hope you're all doing well this evening at the end of another long, long week. And thank you all so very much for joining me this evening. I hope you're all doing well. Um, but I just have to thank quickly, um, Kimikun, thank you so much for the 38 month resub that you did earlier today. Thank you so, so much for your amazing support. I really do appreciate it. Especially 38 months now, that's over three years, you guys. <laughs> okay, so, um, where last we left off in this game, this wonderful, wonderful, heartbreaking game, um, we did encounter a slight technical issue, um, but I resolved that off camera, I, I hope. And, um, so the biggest things that we, that happened last stream was, um, uh, we helped out uh, Liliana with getting some closure regarding um, uh, Divine Justinia. Uh, we had a bit of a chat with some other people. And we had a wonderful um, heart to heart with... Uh... Oh, sorry. Um, that is not supposed to be active yet. So, Hayden, one moment. I'm so sorry everyone, I just have to quickly fix something, because that is not supposed to be ready quite yet. Okay, I'm sorry about that, that was a, that's something I'm currently working on. Sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. So yes, um, let us proceed. Oh, fuck you, god damn it. There we are. No worries, Hayden. I just wasn't aware that was a thing that was visible quite yet. Um, it's something that I'm still working on a little bit as a fun new thing for my stream. So no worries. It's all good. I just need to fix some technical stuff, which I plan on doing uh, over this weekend. So it'll be ready when it's ready. Mm. No, no. Hayden, it's all good. You no need to apologize. It's all good. Um, yeah, just checking everything's all good. And yes. So um, last stream... Uh, we helped Liliana. We also had a heart-to-heart -heart moment with Solus, and it was wonderful. He told us the history of um, uh, the Valisline that uh, we have, and after discovering its hurt, from, its much more painful and hurtful origins, we elicit uh, we asked Solus to remove it to take it away from us. So our Inquisitor is now fresh-faced, bare-faced, and so am I. <laughs> ah, Dr. Creepin, how's it going? Thank you so much for dropping by tonight. Hang on. Come on. There we go. Everyone say hello to Dr. Creepin. How's it going? Alrighty. Uh, tonight I'm drinking uh, whiskey, kind of my staple for most of my streams. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's the bottle that wasn't amazing, but it's just a nice kind of drink to just kind of sip, uh, sip as I play tonight. So it's all good. Hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. Feel free to stay as long as you like. We always keep things chill here. Yes, sorry, and thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh. Much appreciated. There we go. All right, so. The Medloin Man, thank you so much for gifting a subscription to Dr. Creeper. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Medloid Man. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you're amazing. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Creepin, enjoy the fun emotes that you can use in chat now. And also, you can join my Discord if you are so inclined. But it's totally, totally up to you whether you want to or not. Alright, but we do have other things that we need to do today. Um... Before we sit in judgment, let's quickly go to the war table and um, make sure everyone's done their homework. Oh, Sahil, you're too kind. You're too kind. 
Oh, Dr. Creven, a nice South African Merlot. Things just got a lot better. Very much appreciated. I love a good Merlot. Um, I haven't tried many South African wines. I'm personally, because I'm a bit biased, I'm more partial to Australian reds. Um, but I have heard that South African wines are delicious. All right, so. Red Jenny and the Bad Goods. The caravan spotted by Sarah's friends was abandoned after our effort to buy it. There is no documentation to show who arranged it. It appears our scrutiny was enough to scare them off. Good, good. Negotiate a deal for weapon plans. There. The Valdorma nobleman should no longer get in our way. Once my agents explained the situation to him, he was quite content to step away. The Anderfell's blacksmith's weapon designs are ours. That looks fun. Secure a source of water for outpost Inquisitor. Our soldiers in the Western Approach located a suitable freshwater source. They face some resistance from a particularly aggressive women, but we are able to subdue the threat and secure the area. I'm t oh, excuse me. I'm told the Lieutenant Corps in particular should be commended for his quick response. As you can imagine, their success has raised morale amongst our followers in the Western Approach. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, so he'll like, uh, you take hard drinks and tell brilliant stories and play video games without eating the controller out the window. Like, I'm not a rage quitter, I'm a sad quitter. Like, I, I get really frustrated and I break down and I cry when I get, like, really frustrated at a game. I very rarely get angry at a game unless it's like a story related thing. And it's just because I'm like so invested in the story and it's like pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> mm. Hey, Talon, how's it going? Alrighty. Oh, this was uh, the big one we had to do. Oh, uh, we're definitely not going to see the end of this uh, tonight, but good to get it started anyway. How's uh, Amaladris? Amala Amaladaris, sorry. Dorian has completed his research using the Librarium and believes he has found a connection between Corypheus and an ancient magister named Sethus of House Am Amara Amlara Amladara. Words. Amladaris. Amladaris. Thank you. This will be difficult to prove and may be of limited use, but it's worth noting that House Am Amladaris still exists. Even the accusation that Corypheus and Sethius are the same person could be worthy of a scandal in Devinter, one that the current members of their family might be desperate to avoid. Blackmail them. They should, would undoubtedly do the same if us, to us if their positions were reversed. Let us begin. Like, I, I know Scarlet's not here at the moment, but she can attest when I was playing or trying to play Hollow Knight and I was trying to defeat the Mantis Lords, I was just messaging her, just being like, why are they so mean? I've tried to beat them like 50 times and I can't. And just, it's just me like sitting there with my controller, just like crying, like a little rain cloud above me, which is like, it is funny to kind of look, look at from an outside perspective, but I feel there's only so many times I can break down in tears on stream that you guys would find entertaining and I'll be like, oh, is she okay? Oh, Hayden, uh, so I'm not going to give anything away, Stoney, but I believe I've narrowed down tomorrow's ASMR tale to one of two and I'm very excited to see if I'm right. I'm very excited for tomorrow's ASMR tale that's coming out on my channel. I... Um, for those of you who didn't see my tweet, uh, it does feature a, another ASMRist that I had a delight working with on this, and, um, I'm, I'm just very excited. I'm very excited. That's all I, that's all I'll, I'll say. We get too carried away. Commander Cullen, I know you're trying to help, but the guard can handle this investigation on our own. Have your men turn over the knife they took for evidence and I'll track it down. Uh, no, Cullen, that's done quicker, but it's not the best thing to do. Uh, and yet Josephine can't do that. We're sending Liliana because I want to continue this. We don't know if the guard was involved in the crime. Our agents can track down the knife source. Let's see what we have. Medloid man, it sounds like Hollow Knight kinda bugged you. <laughs> ah <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> that was good. That was that was good.
Uh, Balkoth, if I, if I correctly heard you say mantis lords, I can say they're probably mean because mantises don't have feelings. They run on pure instinct and instinct to eat anything that moves. Like, I think also I was, a, I did a big stupid and I wasn't, like, I tried so hard to, because there's no real set path in Hollow Knight. You kind of just go with your gut feelings of like this progression of difficulty and exploring different areas but there's nothing stopping you if you can get to a certain point of exploring certain areas so i think i took on the fight with the mantis lords way before i was supposed to and that's why i was getting so frustrated because i didn't i wasn't anywhere near strong enough still defeated them though eventually and then i broke down and cried with joy uh how about this one is this something cullen can do Nah, that's good enough. Uh, a letter has arrived stamped with the seal of Redcliffe. As the Inquisition has assumed responsibility for the Mage Rebellion, the Arling of Redcliffe holds you accountable for the losses suffered by our people while providing hosp hospitality to your mage allies. A freehold in Rainsfair was burned to the ground when a mage inside lost control of his abilities. Two farms outside Redcliffe Village suffered crop loss and structural damage due to frost spells. Five people in Redcliffe Village were injured by lightning spells cast by, by panicked children. I trust this matter can be concluded without the involvement of the crown. Uh, send people in to do that, I think. I think that's better. The Blue Rose Respite, come for the gaming, stay for the terrible puns. Honestly, like, cheesy dad jokes and bad puns are very much welcome here. Okay, I'm just going to save again quickly. Just because I'm... Given the hiccup that we encountered last time. Just just in case. Just in case. Okay. But it's time to judge Rainier. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes, well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. Oh, Blackwall. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. This will be forgotten in time. Honestly, the world has bigger things on its mind and Orle gossip just like flows as freely as the wind, so it's fine. Once the world is back to normal, no one will even remember this. I'll remember. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? No, servitude isn't the right thing. Free him to amend for his crimes. You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. You do. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your post, Tom Rainier. Like, I can only begin to imagine, um, because Blackwall slash Rainier, he's one of the romance options. I can't begin to imagine, like, what a an experience would be like to play this game for the first time and have that come up. Oh my god.
Uh, Sahil, ma'am, how many accents can you nail down to the wire? I mean, yours, uh, you have a very, very attractive Aussie accent and your British accent, but many more. Um, well, the thing is, I'm self-taught, really, in all of the different accents I can do. It's just from, like, picking it up over time, like, um, like a raven mimicking. Um... And just kind of like experimenting with different accents, being like, "Oh, can I can I do that accent?" And then like trying to do that accent, and like, "Oh, it's it requires some work, but I can do it." Um, like off the top of my head, I can do. I've got my natural Australian accent. I actually struggle a little bit to do like, like the really hard, like heavy Aussie accent, because um, I just have my normal uh, speaking one. Um, I can do. Like Queen's English, I can speak with a certain level of level of eloquence and poise, and add a bit more of an English emphasis to it if required. Um, Irish, Scottish, Russian, French, maybe a bit of Italian. Uh, I'd need to work on my German and my Italian accent more. I can also do kind of a Castilian Spanish accent, and then I can do a like Southern American accent that's like a. Uh, like a high and breathy southern bell sort of voice where it's a lot lighter in tone and all that. And I can also do like a deeper southern accent where there's a certain nasty purr to every word I say. Um, but yeah, honestly, it just comes from like practice, 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 practice. And that's why I kind of love my uh, ASMR tales so much and making these new various characters. It's because I get to practice ma making up cool accents and trying to... Uh, get stronger as a voice actor. Alright, let's have a word with Blackwall. But Samuel has redeemed a pick by voice. It's been a while, but I would love to hear the surprise Josephine accent practice. Well, Samuel, I can certainly endeavor to try. Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. You kind of had other things on your mind at the moment, including being imprisoned for, for your crimes. How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. Everyone needs something to aspire to. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. I want the truth about you because we are going to be uh, working together for quite some time. We should Let's have some clarity on this. The truth this time. I suppose I owe you that. Mhm. Mm you absolutely do. What about your family? Did you have a family? A wife? Children? No. I've never been suited to that kind of life. Mm. Maybe I don't deserve it. Oh, must you always be so morbid, Blackwall? So, you're actually your legion. Well, didn't I say that I was from Markham in the Free Marches? I didn't lie about that. I spent my childhood there, and then Olay called to me. Markham seemed lifeless, colorless in comparison. Tell me about your time as a soldier. I served in the Imperial Army. I distinguished myself there, earned respect, the loyalty of my men. And then I threw it all away. Betrayed my own side for gold. Only gold. You were on the run from the authorities, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> I made my living as a hired sword. Spent most of my coin on drink. I never stayed in one place for long. Had to keep moving. I got to see much of Olay that way. I saw what men like me had done to this great empire. It was a shock. Seeing it up close. Hearing the stories, it's one thing to hear the news from afar, another to actually be there. We'll continue this another time. You have quite a bit on your mind for now, so let's leave it at that. Uh, but what was the next main quest that we had to do? Ah yes, the Well of Sorrows. There was that. Why don't we quickly take care of this uh, quest for the inner circle? Now that Blackwall is back with us once again. You've given up. That's your problem. Alright, let us head over to the fellow mire. Where everything is terrible and it is raining all the time. 
Uh, is there a faster way? I suppose not. Alright, let us take uh, Sera Blackwall and Dorian. I plan on giving Solace the cold shoulder for quite some time. That's a good point, uh, Hayden. I should prob probably see if I need to sell anything. I don't think we do at the moment. Because I did a check, I think, recently. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is terrible and everything is raining all the time. Uh, okay, heading in the right direction. I think we got that... Where that ability to open up locked doors. There we go. Don't you worry, Night Kaiju. We will have a chance to uh, get Lady Vivian. Especially since Solus knows what he did. And say hell, you're too kind. I think it would be one of the greatest honors of my life to be part of uh, the Resident Evil series. That's actually a great aspiration of mine as a voice actor. But we shall see. We shall see. Oh, damn it all. We'll need to look around. But I think after we've headed back, maybe we should have a quick word with Solus. I'll just do a quick check to see if there's any other levels that we need to do. Because I wonder if we should maybe bring him to the Temple of Mythal. That could be interesting. Sarah, do your wonders. There we go. Good girl. Oh, so many shinies. Shred of blue. Here the rains upon the leaves, above the sky lays grey. A shred of blue would be denied. Alas, he could not stay. There was a stir within his blood, and the dreams lay thick upon him. A call did beat within his heart. One road was left before him. Here the rain upon the leaves, upon the sky lies grey. A shred of blue would be denied. Alas, he could not stay. See how the rain was washed, has washed away the tears that you were crying. Though the darkness calls me down, you know we all are dying. Here the rain upon the leaves, above the sky lies grey. A shred of blue would be denied. Alas, he could not stay. And so he came upon the place where so many thread before. One last look upon the world before he crossed that final door. Here the rain upon the leaves above the sky lies grey. A shred of blue would be denied. Alas, he could not stay. Birds reel across the endless sky above a house upon the plain. In memory she sings to him of a time before the rain. Sweet Andraste, hear our song, for his road will be ours too. Before darkness claims our souls, let us see that shred of blue. Here the rain upon the leaves, above the sky lies grey. A shred of blue would be denied, alas, he could not say. Words to a song scrawled on spirit paper. The history of the Grey Wardens is fascinating. Yes, it's too bad you're not one. Sorry, was that too soon? Black hole, was that too soon? All right. <clears throat> Hargrave Keep. In 652 Storm, Ban Hargrave's knights have drive Avar invaders from Ferelden's lowlands. When the king asked Hargrave to pursue the retreating tribes, just checking the lighting, she refused, demanding funds to build a keep. 
caught between a fractured court, Hargrave's knights, and an impending famine, the king reluctantly granted her a large parcel of land to the south. After defeating the Ravar regrouping in the boglands, the band built her castle. As the famine grew worse, the wisdom behind her choice of location became clear. Hargrave Keep ate well, dining on a steady supply of fish and game while the farmer starved. Hargrave's line died out fighting fighting Orlesian invaders in the Blessed Age. Only the village at the base of the keep remains inhabited as the keep has fallen into disrepair. From the fortresses, castles, towers, and other edifices of interest in Ferrelton by Henry Lannon. All right, and that brings us to the end of that. Pick my voice. Thank you so very much, Samuel. I hope I did the accent justice. Like, it's definitely an accent that you get into the flow of it after a while. Um, and I'm actually pretty proud of that, being able to read um, that song and keep the accent going somewhat consistently. Mm. Like, she has an accent that's very similar to Zevran's. Where Zevran has that similar... Um, uh, it's like a slight rolling of the R's, but it's not quite like a full purring sort of sound, if you get my meaning. Where it's like, it's a weird thing, but it's something that you kind of just kind of try and get into the flow of it when you're trying to do it so that you don't even like think about it. But it's like a certain way that uh, the R is pronounced and there's more er uh, eloquence to it. So it's like a additional, almost like a curl to the voice um, around the R's and other letters I believe but it's just for being able to get into that natural uh, cadence over time right yeah that's a bit better uh, do, do, do. I wonder should we try killing a dragon I feel like my Inquis inquisitor has some um, aggression to let out so why don't we try killing a fucking dragon uh, please Leon we want to go Where the fuck is that fucking dragon? I thought it was close to Redcliff. Close ish to Redcliff. Is that about there? I know there was a, a camp nearby. Well, let me just try this one. Oops. Murphy, how's it going? Welcome. Mm. We were just talking about uh, voice acting stuff and other cool things, and they had to uh, listen to me try and do Josephine's accent for That's five minutes. Let's do that. Any others we can turn in? Yeah, let's do this one. And uh, let's switch the party up a bit. Solace is still in the fucking doghouse. Um, let's keep with this main group, but I want to grab Iron Ball. Because if we're going to try and uh, kill a fucking dragon. Um, sorry, uh, Murphy, for clarification. There's a character in this game called Josephine Montillier. And she speaks with a certain um, accent that's kind of a mixture of uh, Castilian, like a Spanish and French accent. Um, and I could do a pretty, pretty okay impression of her accent, apparently. Yeah, I have a feeling that if I did kill a dragon and- oh my god, are you kidding me? I thought I'd select an iron ball. Sorry, black wall. Okay, you know what? I didn't bring um, Vivian last time, so let's bring Vivian this time. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Iron Ball, Vivian, and we'll grab Sarah. Where is everyone? Okay, there we are. Okay, everyone's good to go.
Uh, Sahil, no, I do not teach classes because I'm very much still an amateur myself. Um, I'm completely self-taught as a voice actor. I really need to, uh, when I have the time and the funds to do so, I really want to take a couple of lessons for voice acting, especially like accent work. Um, and also just like overall acting lessons. Fuck off. Son of a bitch. Fireball incoming, everyone out of the way. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yes. Come on, land, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's head over to the area where I know they do land. Just kind of over this way. Everyone keep moving. So I did notice that bull leveled up. Fine. I have to wait until after. Sarah, you're fine. Guys, you got this. You're fine. I'm staying all the way back here. Staying under here. Out of the way, she's gonna breathe fire probably. Or not. 
Come on, come on. I, I don't feel good about our chances, though, because we don't have a ton of potions left, but I'll try my best. down here. Maybe not right on top of me, but that's fine. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, we we might do this. Oh my god, we might actually do this. Oh my god, yes. Almost. Okay, Vivian. You're taking the last potion because we need you. Double stay alive. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. We fucking did it. Is everyone all right? Yeah. I mean, yes. I'm alive. Really alive. See the way everything lit up when it tried to fry us. <laughs> now that is a fight. Fuck yes. Uh, that seemed to have been a slight bug when it comes to the loot, but that's okay. Ooh. But Hayden, thank you so much for the 1400 bits! There was a bounty on the dragon's head, time to collect. Absolutely! Thank you so, so much for the bits. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you! I'm sorry, Rosen. I'm sorry to everyone who loves dragons. I love dragons too, but... My Inquisitor's been through a lot. Um... Uh, she's been through a lot in the past uh, couple of days, so you know what? She 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 deserved that. She, she deserved that. I just imagine, like in my head, uh, there's a scene where she, um, after coming back from uh, her chat with Solus out in the wilds, and then coming back without her her face tattoos anymore, um, she just comes back uh, down to the pub. And she walks over to Iron Ball. Really with that bow, Sarah. You lay down solid cover fire. Two eyes. Helps, yeah. Sarah, you sassy little bitch. Mm. And like she just walks up to Iron Ball and he's just there with his pint, just like looking up at her like, uh, hey boss. Everything alright? And she just looks him dead in the eye and goes, Do you want to help me kill a dragon? And his whole face lights up like a kid on Christmas. <laughs> Boss, you don't need to ask me twice. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Well, we did get some fun things. I just want to see if that staff is better than the one I have. No, but that might actually suit Vivienne. 
Grand Enchanter's staff, absolutely. This seems very much your style, my dear. Do we get any other weapons? Pick my voice. Uh, we have another pick my voice from the Medloid man. Speaking of bounties, I believe I owe the chat a bayonetta as reconciliation for the my mortal voice. Well, at least you're trying to make amends, and that's commendable, I suppose. Now, chat, I do hope you've all been behaving yourselves, otherwise Mummy won't be impressed. Fondius Glor the Second, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite any time. I do hope you've all been behaving yourselves and having a lovely time. Hmm. I might give that to Iron Ball, I think. Actually, no, that one's a bit better. It's more his style. And I'll hold on to the other ones until later. And yes, do we have a new weapon for Bull? It looks to be mostly daggers, but we might be able to craft something fun back in the keep. Oh my, chat, don't tell me you're getting flustered. Whatever am I going to do with you? <laughs> oh. Now, I do have one question for you, chat. And I do hope that you'll be honest with me. Will you be honest with me? I expect nothing less, of course, but I'd like to ask. A list of supplies. A list of supplies for a great deal of lumber along with rope, pulleys, tar, nails, and waterproofing oils. It seems to be a list of items you need to construct a dock. Oh, it could make for a very interesting evening. Gathering other supplies. Alright, so you've all been behaving yourselves. So, my question to you, chat, and you said you'd be honest with me, is have you been drinking your water and getting enough sleep? Because if I have to do these hydrate checks and stretch checks and making sure I'm taking care of myself, I expect you're all doing the same for you. Hmm. I'm not quite liking the sounds of those maybes. You'll have to do better. Oh, but I suppose I can... Oh. Do my own stretch checks from time to time. Sleep, no water, yes. Well, at least you're trying. I do hope you can do better for me in the future, though. Make it that you can do doing your own your hydrate checks from time to time. Cause I if I'm the one who has to be a responsible adult, well, that's a concerning thought. <laughs> Responsibility. I don't know the meaning of the word. Hmm. Ah, oh, hydrate check, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, we successfully killed a dragon. That's one way to let out some frustration. 
I can think of some other exciting ways, but... Mm, I'm currently very upset at my bow. So, perhaps I'll wait for another time then. Eliminator, how's it going? Welcome back. Hmm. Let's just check if there's anything else that we can do. Honestly, a lot of these are smaller things, but let's do this one since we can just turn this in quick and easy. Let's see, where is it? Is that in Crestwood? Oh, it's all the way over Crestwood. Fine. Where is Crestwood again? Storm Coast. There we go. Since we've already done that, and let's turn it in for some lovely rewards. But that does come to the end of that Pick My Voice. Thank you so very much for requesting Bayonetta. I hope I did her voice justice. The funny thing is sometimes I think like... What's up? What is it? This may be worthwhile. Because uh, sometimes I wonder like, oh, can I do like an authentic or like a, a really, a pretty good like English accent? And then I, I just slip into the Bayonetta voice just so perfectly. And I'm like... Okay, yes, I think I could do a rather well English accent. So long as I have that certain... Mm, sumptuousness to the voice. Oh, that's right. That's why I didn't recognize Crestwood at first. Yes. Hello. The rage demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubt. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Your reward. Use it well. Perhaps now we can return to something less trivial. Oh, Vivian. I do love you. Alright, do we have any other quick and easy things we can turn in? Can you guys hear me okay? Did you hear that? Jesus Christ, that scared the life out of me. Fuck. Um. One second. I don't know what happened. Um, I have, um... An, an audio interface for this microphone on my desk and there was this just this sudden like and I was it was a spark a spark came out of it and like the wires aren't like constrained or anything like that but I was just oh no <laughs> oh god that made me just like very nervous I was wor worried for a second that um my mic had broken suddenly which would not have been good mm-mm -mm. Not at all. Um, hmm. You know what I might do? I might head back to Skyhold because I think we do need to have a word with Solace. It's probably going to be vague and cryptic and it's going to piss me the fuck off. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that. I might even unplug it before I go to bed. Um, because I've had this set up for, like, over a year now with, like, this interface and everything plugged in, so I might just unplug it before I go to bed, but I just have to remember to plug it back in again. The Medloid man. Even the audio equipment can't handle the Bayonetta voice. I know, right? <laughs> um, let me just quickly do, uh, organizing people's inventories and give out those shiny new things I found. 
and also then we can sell out, uh, sell off some of the um, uh, unneeded stuff that's filling my pockets and weighing that down. Okay. Everyone! Dorian, do you need a better staff? You do. I'm gonna give you that one. Black wall. I don't think we've got anything else that's like amazing. Yes, we're all good on that front. Any new armor I can give out? I don't think so. Not really. Uh, accessories. Um, I'm actually going to give that to uh, Cassandra because she needs a bit of extra boost with that. Healing bonus. Um, I'm actually going to give that to Cole because he is squishy. And going to give you that. My boy. And let's sell some of this unneeded stuff. Yeah. Samuel, I would unplug this mic, but the thing is I kind of need it for the stream. That's the only thing. Sweet Navi, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I do have to ask, is your voice... Uh, sorry, not your voice. Um, your username inspired by Legend of Zelda, maybe? I'm just gonna make sure that these weapon, uh, things of power get given to good people. And that's for Sarah. Uh, Jen, I do have a backup mic. I have my old Blue Yeti, but it will take like, at, like at least half an hour to an hour to set it up. So I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm. Oh no, it's all fine. Like it's it's free of any like um conflicting things, and it's far enough away from me that it'll be fine. So yeah, guys, it's all good. Don't worry. Let us go back out to the main hall. Uh, but I do see that we can sit in judgment for something else, so I'm just going to save quickly. Just a little bit paranoid. So what do we have to sit in judgment for? Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains oh, loyal to Corypheus. That's right. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance. This the asshole. The will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. He will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you've trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Bold words for someone who can't even grow a full beard. No, your head's mine. 
Lord Eremond, any protection you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. Petty actions. Truth lies in the next world. Yeah, you can't have the option to uh, hung, to hang draw and quarter him, but I can take his head off. I think this is the only time I've executed someone at judgment. For someone who's so petite and has very, um, I will say slim muscles, I can wield that sword like a badass. Okay, who else do we have to judge? We'll judge one more person, and uh, then we'll go talk to Solus. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Act. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. As if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Oh, go to the deep roads, public humiliation, jail her or exile. I kind of want to say go to the deep roads because I mean, that's still a part of her warden thing but it's like a punishment unto itself um i don't think public humiliation is like a right value like it doesn't seem balanced to me maybe the deep roads i'm gonna say the deep roads you feel your life is over there's a place for such wardens sir ruth you'll go to the deep roads your death may be as quick as you choose this sends no message this is just an end No, everything has to send a message. With all due respect, you're not exactly like a high-level political figure that I have to cast judgment on. Okay, there's other people to judge. But I'm going to start with Solus. Solus. What the fuck was up with that? I'm, I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I, I, I just want to shoot him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. Hi. Hi. Inquisitor, how may I help you prepare for our final battle? What about us? I'd like to discuss what happened before, Solus. I'm afraid that wouldn't be appropriate at this time. We must focus on what truly matters. Harden your heart to a cutting edge, and put that pain to good use against Corypheus. It would help me if you could explain why. The answers would only lead to more questions. An emotional entanglement that would benefit neither of us. The blame is mine, not yours. It was irresponsible and selfish of me. Let that be enough. Later, then? Will you talk to me when we have finished with Corypheus? If we are both still alive afterwards, then I promise you, everything will be made clear. Let me know if I can be of any more help in planning our final fight. Fine. You'll come with me when I go with Morrigan and we go and try and find Mathal. Go fuck yourself. Always with the questions. What will people say? I love you. Dorian! <laughs> just like, stone face around Solus, just like, yes. 
You will accompany me and Morrigan to the Emerald Wilds in search of the Temple of Mithal. And he's just an understood inquisitor. The minute we turn around and head up the stairs, it's just... <laughs> I should go. As you wish. Yeah, everything's fine. Liliana, are you okay? I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? I personally support Liliana as divine, but that's just me. So I'm going to say... Uh, actually, what would you do as divine? If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. Your support of the Mage Rebellion was a good start. We must build on this. No more circles. The Mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, Dwarves, even Canari. Why exclude them? The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart instead of teaching us how we are the same. In this run, at least, um, I'm going to support Liliana as divine. I think you would make a good divine. I am glad to hear it. Your support may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. Justinia wanted the Chantry to grow, but her reforms never took root. She was held back by tradition and was too gentle to force change. I will make that mistake. Can't force change. You can't force people to change their minds. Then how will change ever come? People do not simply happen upon enlightenment. Most must be carried there. Justinia thought the circles needed to change. But why stop there? The Chantry alienated potential allies by brutalizing elves and belittling dwarves. If we could bring them into the fold, wouldn't we have peace? There are those who would cling to the old ways, of course. But they will see. I would make them see. Oh, but I've rambled on too long. I am not divine. Yet. I made my choice. I'm, I'm just gonna walk away. I have other things to deal with. Everything's fine. Just turn around. Makeup's running down my face. Everything's fine. What's around this way? Oh, nothing. We... I just get a kick out of running all over Skyhold sometimes. Because as Inquisitor, I have the power of no fall damage. That was a pretty cold response. Solace sounds pretty... hard-boiled. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I wonder, does uh, Cole have any words about this? Uh, no, I intentionally did not do the Valisleen, um, the markings on my face. Keeping it in spirit with the game. My uh, Inquisitor is barefaced and she no longer has the Valisleen. So I'm not going to do it during uh, the run of the main game, but who knows when we get to Trespasser. Hi, Sarah. You have a problem. Do I? That over there is a full tavern, but everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging, and they'll fall on their swords before Corypheus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? You know what? Fuck it. I need to blow off some steam. How will that help? I don't understand how annoying my people will help. Look, you have experts for everything. And I know a bunch of tight-ass people when I see them. Oh, sure, they'll complain. But they'll really mean, thank you for distracting me from the end of the stupid world. Come on! Um, I, I didn't miss, really miss doing it. Um, I have... I just wanted to keep things consistent with my character in the game. Just, just for now. Yeah, fuck it. I'm in. 
lead the way. What, really? Really. <laughs> I knew you were different. Let's go. Maybe this is also part of my Inquisitor's like slight rebellion. Like she's been too pious and right, formal around Stola, uh, about so around Solus, and so she's just like, screw this. What the desk? Oh yes, center of the empire and all that. What to do? What to do? What do we do? All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There, won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. <laughs> I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. It's the little things. Just making Cullen's desk just slightly wobbly. Right, little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. What, just the door? Where she greets every important idiot. Yes. Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. Oh, no. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever, next stop. Mm. What's that? A lock? No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messenger something gassy? No, birds don't part. But they flap and... Uh... Hmm. Who is up there? Go! It's fucking Solus, everyone run! That oh, we, was fun. we just take a handful of crow eggs and just throw it at Solus' dumb head. Them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good! And Corypheus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. Anyway, fun time, Inquisitor. You! Oh, frig. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> I'm sorry, Josephine. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I love you. I accept full responsibility. What's Yep, let's have a quick talk to Cole. Sean, how's it going? I'm doing well. How are you? It's good to spend time with you. Oh. May I ask how things are, now that you're more of a spirit? Questions can be shackled, but you kept me in kindness. I will answer. What is it like to be this way? I'm me. More me than I was. Aww. I can care and comfort, but keep clean. No shackles. They feel, forgive, forget, and I am free. Finally. Thank you. Can you tell me more about the Fade, now that you're more connected to it? It is here, but held. Constrained by a construct. Failed feelings, memories, minds, mortality, all shape it. A glass to hold water. We flow to the deep. Without you, we have nothing. Not even us. That's why we want so much. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to ask those other questions. I'll talk to you later. Actually, how's Ironball doing? I haven't spoken to him in a while. Come on. Ooh. Inquisitor! Come, have a drink. Fuck yeah. 
to killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. Fuck yes. <coughs> <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. <laughs> um, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Toss it a thon hal -sam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well... As much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. That thing you just said, you shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be I will bring myself sexual pleasure later while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. Yes. I know, right? I love you. Mm. Yes. Fuck yes. Keep drinking. This is awesome. <coughs> I love this fucking game, yes. you guys. The second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. <coughs> Atashi. The glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Gunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> ...spoke to me. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. Fuck yes. Keep drinking. <coughs> nice. To dragons. <laughs> to finding the biggest, baddest things in the world and showing them that we're badder. Anon. We're, it's like this uh, tonight's stream is just Inquisitor goes on a bender because she's just like, fuck Solus, oh, fuck propriety, fuck being a hoity toity piece of shit. Who takes away your awesome face tattoos and leaves you crying alone in a field. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I did see, I think it was Colin had uh, something to turn in. So let's have a quick check of the war table. And then, fuck it, let's go and um, maybe go do the thing with Morrigan. That's pretty important that we do. Hey guys. How's it going? Ah, uh, there it is. Preparations for Redcliffe. Inquisitor, I'm pleased that we were able to work together for the betterment of the people of Redcliffe, Arling. May Andraste watch over you. From Tegan Guren. Thank you. Ooh. As either of you noticed a change in Morrigan, I fear for her. Fear for her, rather than fearing what she will do. You do care. I would have concern for anyone who came into contact with that thing. A lot of things are more suited for like Josephine or uh, Liliana, so I'm just trying to find something that's 
good. Ah, that one's alright. Secure a route through the Frostbacks. Inquisitor, we explore the fellow Maya after you cleared the place out. I've stumbled onto an old road that leads to the Frostbacks. If it's cleaned up, you can use it to shave weeks of a journey through the mountains. Be I'd be rather wet than freezing. Uh, we've moved the troops east to west without risking the mountains. Let's keep this road for our soldiers. They can repair it. To work. Now, where's the thing that we have to do with Morrigan, or is that something that we go to the main map to do? I think it's this one. You're concerned. No, I'm just waiting, like everyone else. Invest for much longer. All right, investigate elven wounds. Uh, this has been Lavellan's therapy session. Judge some criminals, kill a dragon, play some pranks, get drunk with iron ball. Fuck yes. And now with that uh, out of her system, she feels strong enough internally to um, go to these elven ruins with Morrigan. Inquisitor, we have made progress at Dinan Hanin, the Tomb of the Emerald Knights. The structure appears more extensive than we had thought, as my keeper was not interested in this endeavor. Perhaps the Inquisition might be willing to aid us. I would hate to return home empty-handed. I trust the spirits of cooperation would benefit us both. Besides, it's rather exciting. I imagine the place must pique your curiosity as well from the tavern. Oh, this might have something to do with the other area. This may not be Morrigan's thing. Oh yeah, you gotta talk to Morrigan. That's what I thought. Um, uh, a few of our soldiers met with the elves at Dinanin. Uh, the elven ruins at the Emerald Graves. That's right, that's right. It's a different thing. Their leader, Tavern, wishes to work with us as a side of cooperation between the Inquisition and his clan. However, some of his party are wary of our presence and the Inquisition's intentions. Our interest in strengthening our relationship with the Daelith would appear more genuine if you met with him in person. Okay, yes. So I, I'm just trying to remember, did I mess up and I didn't talk to Morrigan? Because I remember last stream we talked to Morrigan, but then I had the technical bug and I had to redo a couple of things. But that's okay. Um, if we just have to have a quick chat with Morrigan, let's do that now and then we can get going straight away to the Temple of Mithal. Well, not the Temple of Mithal, but seeking out the remains of Mithal. So yeah, I might have fucked up um, and I forgot to do this one as a fix up for last time's technical difficulties, but that's okay. The altar awaits oh, no, wait. Visit, Inquisitor. Everything I have done since leaving Ferelden has led me to this. Think of all we will learn. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. Okay, I've already asked I'll leave everything. You to the garden. As you like. Okay, so yes, we have done that. Um I did not fuck up. So yes, let us do that then. Oh yeah, that's right, it's a different thing on the map. The final piece. The Well of Sorrows is calling Morrigan to the Arbor Wilds. She does not wish to go alone. Yes. Okay, I'll take with us the OG group. Because Cass I'm and Varric, I'm trusting you to keep an eye on Solus. Because he is knowledgeable on these matters. So I'm bringing him along. Everything's fine. This is the place? It is. Look for an altar. Ancient, but still standing. Okay. I'm gonna save quickly. Just in case. This would be it then. There. You see it. God damn it. This would be it then. Is all that remains of the great altar. We few who travel far call to me and I will come. Without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight. Let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear. A very old invocation. Perfectly translated. Why, thank you. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Methal's temple. The temple was a place of justice, but this is different. This was where the elves called to her, spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared, and there was no one with whom to speak. Your companions will need to go elsewhere. 
Not to worry, if there is shouting, they will hear it readily enough. It's fine. Go, guys. We got this. You know who I am. From high priest to high priest, I am the last to drink of sorrows. Come to us, Mithal. Whatever you are, whatever remains, I invoke your name and your power. This is a surprise. So this is Mithal. She is a deceiving witch! Now, now, that's quite enough of that. <gasps> what have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. Then you are Mithal? Uh, I'm not gonna kneel before her, but I'm not gonna judge that she's not an elf. I'm just gonna be like, she is? That's Mithal. You invoke that name so easily. I wonder if you know what it means. I do not understand. How can you be Mithal? Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to be the first one to say it. Like, I hope that's how I look in like 40 years. That would be amazing. Then you carry Mithal inside you. She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They... say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. So young and vibrant, you do the people proud and have come far. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna, like, flex on a bit of my history knowledge. I know who Flemeth is. I know the name Flemeth. My people call you Asha Belinar, the woman of many years, and speak of your legend. It says long ago you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mithal. That's what you spoke of. One day, someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But Fuck. yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> if Mithal is a part of you, why haven't you helped us? We've called to you, prayed to you. What was could not be changed. What about now? You know so much. You know not what you ask, child. Okay, fine. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. 
Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythor clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. Will you help us, though? We summoned you because we need your help. Against the Magister who grasps beyond his reach. Yes, I know. The voices did not lie, Morrigan. I can help you fight Corypheus. Do you understand, child? Yes. I think I do. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Imagine my surprise to discover it was you. And that is all. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. All things considered, Inquisitor, I now wish you had drunk from the well. Will you be all right? I... am uncertain. Oh, what she said is true, at least. I have the answer to your problem. I can match the Archdemon's power when the time comes. All that remains is for you to find Corypheus. I think we can do that. Not at all intimidated about that prospect. Okay, let us head back to... Okay, we have to go back through the archway. See, I haven't played Dra the first Dragon Age game, so I'm unfamiliar with a lot of the context surrounding uh, Morrigan and Flemeth, but it's still very interesting and it definitely entices me to want to uh, play the game. And yeah, Solus is very quiet. I imagine he was just like there with the others over on like the uh, the ruined battlements and he's just like staring at like all this going down. Okay, let's go to the war room, speak to the advisors. Actually, screw it. We can do another uh, judgment quickly because I want to try and clear those up. So I think I've also I've also been neglecting those a bit. Give me, Inquisitor. For personal interest, I have relieved Josephine, as you might expect. Oh yes. Knight Templar Samson, general to Corypheus, traitor to the Order. The blood on his hands cannot be measured. His head is too valuable to take. Kirkwall, Orlay, many would see him suffer. I can't say I'm not one of them. Mike, thank you so much for continuing your subscription. Thank you so, so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Mike, thank you. Judging him will affect as many as his crimes. I won't take it lightly. The Red Lyrium will steal your vengeance. You know what it does. Corypheus only delayed my corruption. Are you still loyal to that thing? He poisoned the Order, used them to kill thousands. Templars have always been used. How many were left to rot like I was after the Chantry burned away their minds? Piss on it. I followed him so Templars could at least die at their best. Same lie as the Chantry. Profit just isn't as pretty. 
I found your people. They believed in you, believed your cause was righteous. Not your business, Inquisitor. Your friend Maddox was so loyal, he killed himself for you. They were always going to die. I saw what Corypheus was doing. So yes, I fed them hope instead of despair. I made them believe their pain had purpose. Just like the Chantry does. <laughs> right, Commander? It ended as well as anything else I've done. Corypheus would kill me on sight. I'll tell your people what they want. Everything I cared about is destroyed. Like, I'm already loving the um, uh, suggestions in chat. Um, I sentenced him to super execution, and let's go with a classic. Uh, give me a very large red lyrium crystal, and we'll take a page from Vlad the Impaler's book. Both of those are wonderful ideas. Um, I don't think just sho shoving him into a prison cell is enough, or exile, because I don't like the idea of him wandering around. Um, I will say I will let Cullen question you. Very well. Samson, you will spend your remaining years serving the Inquisition. Cullen will be your handler. Perhaps he can get something useful out of you. I doubt the Commander believes there's anything worthy left in me. You're not wrong, but you serve something greater than yourself once. Perhaps you can be made to remember that. Oh my god, there's still more people to judge. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to the advisors of the war room first. And see where we go from there. Okay, that leads into the final final quest, though. I think, personally, I might save that for the next stream. Um, yeah. Okay, let's just wrap this one up first. Uh, Inquisitor, we've begun sending soldiers along the road to the, the along the road to the Fallow Mire. I would like to pass on their considerable gratitude for being spared treks across the frostbacks. Our healers seem happier as well. Good. good. Because, yeah, Doom Upon the World, I, from what I know, is like the final quest. Okay. A letter written in fine hand and lightly scented, signed by Josephine. The issue of Tom Rainier has been settled, but his deception of his far reaching consequences had we not used the Grey Warden treaties. Might, he may, uh, we may not have found ourselves in so awkward a position. As it is, I receive daily messages from all quarters, demanding we make reparations. We must do something. Scribbled underneath, signed by Cullen. I'm sorry, did we embarrass a duchess at a soiree by we'll stepping on her to gown? Make our move soon, I think. Or was the sky torn open and having the set uh, by an ancient darkspawn magister? We needed the gold. We needed the men. You would have persuaded someone to part with them, with or without the treaties. Uh, we're not making reparations for doing what we had to do, what n no one else could have done. Don't forget the Wardens were exiled from Southern Thetis by the power of the Inquisition. We've seen their holdings. Anything owed to them is now owed us. I might wait for Josephine to get back to do that one. What about this one? I'm just trying to find something good that Cullen can do. But all of this is either like requires a deft hand or um, more complicated forces. Okay, this one's better. Commander, the situation is improving here at Griffin Wing. Water source is secured and most things are under control. However, our activities in the desert has destroyed some uh, Varkas nests, which has riled them up and desperate. Now they are attacking caravans on the main road, scavenging from our provisions. Makes it hard to get supplies in for the soldiers. Any advice? Make his breath. I'll send some of our rangers to hunt and kill these pests. That'll keep the area clear. All right.
All right. So I might wait. I might have a quick chat to all of our friends and just see if there's any last things they want to do. Any like cut scenes with any last bits of their own personal quests. And like we've been making really good time tonight. I'm, um, I know I said like we should maybe wait until like next week. But I'm kind of happy to do the last quest. What level are we? Level 18. We should be strong enough for this. But let's just quickly sit in judgment and finish these up as well. Mm. Thanks for the stretch, Hayden. Before you is service of the Minrata Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western Approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the Approach, without his master's consent. Whether or not he's loyal to Corypheus has no bearing on his crimes. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, your worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor. And I can put them all at your disposal. His connections could be useful and a good assist Dorian. Let's make him an informant. Leliana will assign agents to you. I expect them to inform me that you've been forthright. If you want redemption, you'll have to earn it. I can more than pay my keep, Inquisitor. Thank you. Hmm. That felt like he was getting what he wants, but you know what? We needed eyes and ears. And that's the last of the things we have to do for judgment. So let's have a quick chat with everyone uh, that we can. And then maybe we can head into the last quest. Something you wanted to talk about? Uh, not really. Personal question? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Okay, we've asked him everything Thanks, for now. Eric. No problem. Okay. Solace, darling, beloved, Mother Nan. Inquisitor. I need to know more about Corypheus. We spoke of this on our travels to Skyhold. What more can I tell you? Cassandra and Varric seem more familiar with their adversary. You're a mage. You studied the breach. And you seem to have some idea how a bastard like this might think. I'm flattered. I claim no secret wisdom. But I will guess as best I can. I would like to know more about the orb he carries. As I said, that must be the means by which he created the breach. I suspect the blast that destroyed the Conclave was more accident than anything. The result of unlocking power that had sought release for ages. I had wondered how Corypheus survived the blast, until we saw his abilities at the Temple of Mithor. You said that you believed the orb is elven. I never would have believed that a Vinter mage could unlock such a powerful relic. It clearly enhances his abilities, giving him access to power he should never have known. Like the power to control the Archdemon? Indirectly, one assumes. Nothing in any law connects my people to the old god dragons who became Archdemons. Oh, people. So let's... We'll talk later. Don't you Dareth Shiral me, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna tell him I fucking respect him. I was just like, oh, let's just pick the middle answer of... You questions, questions. can also be of assistance to me. Okay. Dorian, I think I you're good. Go. I do rather like watching you leave. Dorian. I know my ass is a gift from the gods, but you don't have to say it in front of everyone. <laughs> Vivian, do you have anything you wish to speak to me about, my dear? Go on. Good for you. 
You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, my dear. They must be inspired. Thank you, Vivian. I'm glad you approve. Once this business with Corypheus is done, I'll take you to Val Royo. You should meet my seamstress. Please? And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. Okay, fair enough. I suppose you're right. I suppose it's important to show we're an authority to be respected. Not just respected, my dear. Awed, feared, aspired to. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a woman who commoners aspire to be, and to whom nobles bow. That's quite a lot for one person to pull off, don't you think? It is a challenge all great leaders must face, Inquisitor. The stories of your accomplishments will spread, and with them, doubt. Are you truly the woman from the tales? They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. And if I fail? And if I don't live up to the stories, what can I expect from the disappointed masses? There is nothing more vicious than the public turning on a fallen idol. They will blame you for not being the hero they wanted. Their anger will be like a hornet's nest smashed open. Simple and vicious. Respect that, and they are easy to control. God damn it, I need a Vivienne in my life. Can can we have a cutscene of like the girls' weekend with Vivienne? Cause just like her thing of like, oh we'll take you to Val Royo and I'll take you to my seamstress. And we'll have a wonderful time of it, and you must dress to command their respect and deserving of their admiration. Uh, I'm just so... I'm, because I'm not playing my Inquisitor, she's more of a slightly rustic individual. Um, Liliana is fine, we just talked with her about Divine, so she's all good. Um, but I'm like over here out of character, I'm just nodding my head like, yes, please. Bridgerton Dragon Age Edition. <laughs> As someone who has watched like the first season of Bridgerton at least like eight times and the second season at least four, I may be a little bit obsessed with Bridgerton. I love it so much. But oh, I I, I don't think I would want my Inquisitor to dr dress like uh, someone from Val Royale, but maybe just like a little bit of gold lining or a little bit of gold thread in her armor would be very nice. Hey, Cass. It's good to see you. I have some more questions. As you wish. So you are the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine, but my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. But what does a right hand do, exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You thought she could really change things? Justinian knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. I'll let you get back to work. Like, on the conversation of, um, uh, in chat of, uh, what would the Inquisitor's Elysian Mask be? Like, it varies depending on what, what, uh, kind of Inquisitor you're playing, but I think for, um, 
my Inquisitor that I'm playing in this run. I think her mask, if she was going to have a going to have an Orlesian mask, it'd be like the classic like half mask. Um, it maybe be more like a filigree sort of style where you can see her skin underneath it. It'd be more like very fine ornate gold. Um, and uh, but I would want it to also like have. Uh, instead of just focusing on the face, like maybe subtle points as well, like emphasizing her elvenness. So it looks kind of like her ears are further accented or with um, even like gold ear cuffs to add even like further pointedness to her ears just to show like she's very proud of being an elf. An elf in the lofty sense of the word, not elf as in like the way Sarah sees it. It's just like, ah, I'm an elf. I am what I am. Let's get some more drinks. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, drinks with Bull. Fuck yes. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, Creme de la Creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Do you prefer Creme or Cremesius? Creme's faster. The chief's nicknames usually end up sticking. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. <laughs> Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Uh, I'm not going to ask any anything others? invasive. A lot of the chargers went looking off for stronger drinks. Let's see, who's left? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. I, I feel bad. I don't think we've actually spoken to Krem and the Chargers yet. This feels like it was a quest that was much earlier in the game, but we just haven't gotten around to it yet. You've got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose hearts and looser skirts. For everybody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horn be pointing up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Yay. They're just so good, and I love them so much. Alright. Uh, let's have a quick word with... Actually, how's Krem doing? Most of the charges are still at the Temple of Mithal. I missed a crazy fine. I'd like to know more about the Iron Bull. What would you like to know? How did a Tevinter soldier wind up in a Kunari spy's mercenary company? I wasn't a soldier at the time. I was in some trouble. Trying to flee to Vinter. A tribune and his men caught me in a border town tavern. They meant to make an example of me. Bull killed them. Gave up his eye doing it. Patched me up and asked if I was looking for work. I've been putting up with his jokes ever since. That's how he lost the eye? Yes. The guards had me on the tavern floor when Bull came inside and yelled for them to stop. One of them saw trouble coming and figured he'd finish me off. The guard had a flair. Bull put himself between me and the blow. Big old idiot. Didn't even know me. We'll talk later. Honestly, there's so many amazing characters in, in this game. I love them all so much. I saw him just walking Welcome free. Back. That was a decision, and it was well considered. Hey. After what he did, Sarah. I know many How you doing? Getting serious about mage stuff. Magic. Things. How about... How about not so much? Just asking for not so much magic. Great, yeah? Do you have any worries about how my magic is developing? <laughs> really? You have to ask what's so bad about the magic stuff. Rift whatever. You know, like a tearing up the world. Rift mage. So I can understand fade forces. Not helping. I don't understand that stuff. It's scary to anyone smart enough to think for a second. You shouldn't be scary. You're the Inquisitor. Oh. 
What has you so scared? You really don't know. Most people are scared. I mean, there's lots of mages here, but most never see one. Never. You're weird, and I know you, so you're not scary. But lots of people don't know you. I don't want you to be just a scary mage. Oh, I, I won't be flirtatious with her, but not even a little bit for fun. Don't be silly, I'm not that scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha ha, real funny. Fine, I'm fine with it. Be scary and a shit. Carry on then. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. I love that we were just like, the Fade is a terrifying place. I'm going to learn everything about it and become a Rift Mage. Hi, Cole. It's good to spend time with you. Is it? I'm glad to hear that. I'd like to talk with you about the Inquisition. I don't understand it. People talk like it's a person, but it's not even a thing. A dagger can be a way to let pain out, but even if it isn't, it's still a dagger. The Inquisition isn't real unless it has something real to make it. It's like a spirit. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Yes. Alright, let's have a quick talk with... I think Blackwall is the only one we still have to talk to. Um, oh, thank you for the hydrate and stretch check, Rosen. Oh. Mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. Uh, someone said this um, about uh, streamers who do the um, the stretch check, like the little exercise check and the um, hydrate checks uh, on stream. Well, you guys do them and it helps us take care of ourselves. It makes us into Tamagotchis. Like, your interactions with us are just like, feed exercise feed exercise <laughs> so it's done just about the little ones in the camps don't have much i thought this might cheer them up oh even in the midst of war they deserve to be children it's almost time are you ready i am i've been ready for a long time things become clear on the battlefield it's where i truly know myself Everything else fades. You're content. I'm glad. I am. There has always been one constant. I am a soldier. I am trained to kill, to follow orders, and to ask no questions. But this time, I'm fighting for something I believe in. The people I care about. I chose to stay with the Inquisition. I chose this fight. And the difference is profound. I have only you to thank. Ooh, and that feels very final, so let us go to the war table and see if we can track down Corypheus. Like. I wonder, can I buy anything useful? I don't think there's anything else I really want to sell. Me neither. I can build them. So why don't we head to the war room, everyone? Let me just double check that. Yep, we don't have any more side quests for our companions. Because I was, I was just checking the time. I was like, oh, we actually have enough time to do the last quest. Last main quest, I think. On. Sorry. And yes, we did talk to Cassandra. Oh, sorry. I meant to save. I did. I'm a big stupid. Um, this next quest, I don't think is actually that long. So, we should be able to do it. Okay. Is 
So I don't think there's like a set uh, level limit. Because yeah, we're level 18. We should be strong enough for this. Um, but what I might just do is um, I might take a very quick break just to uh, refill my glass and all that. And I will be back in just a few minutes. So don't go anywhere. I'll just take a quick break for about five minutes or so. Just so I can refill my glass. And then we can settle in for the face-off against Corypheus. So I'll be back in just a moment, guys. And I'm back everyone. I hope you all behaved yourselves. I can see in chat from the wonderful array of emotes that you certainly had a lovely time in my absence. But thank you so much for standing by. I am back with a little bit more whiskey just to enjoy the conclusion of this wonderful story. Because as it is warned in this, this starts events that lead to the end of the story. You can continue to play the game afterwards, but some content may be may not be available. Complete any important task before beginning this operation, which we did. We went around, we had a quick chat with everyone just to make sure that everyone was all good. And yep, I'm very happy to head into Doom Upon All the World. If you are, so everyone, make sure you've all grabbed yourselves a drink, maybe a snack. Um, settle in because we're getting into the last quest the last main quest of this game let's go with his forces routed now is the time to find Corypheus before he can recover and force him out into the open Well, I'm glad you had a wonderful party in chat, chat. I just like seeing like all the different emotes um, in chat because I'm just like, there's Taka, there's Amelie, and all these other amazing content creators. I cannot wait until the day that I can make partner as well. Ah, let us proceed then and wish me luck. Did you find what you need, Morrigan? I can match the Darkspawn Magister's dragon. Yes. As for matching Corypheus, that is up to you, Inquisitor. I'll do my best. Believe me, I know. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the deep roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys too. Fuck. Ah, oh, that's not good. That no, that's not good. That's really not good. It seems Corypheus is not content to wait. He's in the Valley of Sacred Ashes. You either close the breach once more, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now, before it's too late. Fuck yes, final standoff. I'm taking my go-to group. Cole, Solus, and the Iron Bull. We got this, guys. Wish me luck, everyone. I love the music in this part, it's so good. Now, 
Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. But I, I'm not even here. Oh, wait, you're talking about yourself. Okay. As you wish. I knew you would come. It ends here, Corypheus. And so did she. Yes. No scout hiding. Fuck yes. Final standoff, bitches. You have been most successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are a thief in the wrong place. At the wrong time, an interloper, a gnat. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of godhood. I came here to stop you, Corypheus. Nothing more. Morrigan! I do dare. A dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. I shall sear you from the very heavens. I shall sear you from the very heavens. Yep. Morrigan said that she had the power to match the Archdemon, so she turns into a fucking dragon. I shall sear you from the very heavens. And yeah, I will you say just to touch an avatar of divinity. Oh, I don't even like I absolutely dare to touch an avatar of divinity. I will smack you on the ass if I want to. In my time, we called your people Ratax. You are nothing. A race of sniveling cowards that shrank before to defend our power. As you wish. Fuck. Okay, Iron Ball, how the fuck did that happen? Okay, but I do see that last pick my voice was redeemed for fucking come at the frogs. I'll do this as best I can for five minutes. Hi everyone. We're here to stop the end of the world. See, I don't like when you hurt my friends. You have to put a stop to them right away. And yes, Scarlet, you came at a perfect time. Absolutely. If you desire death, you shall have it. Well, that's the thing about regrets is that you should live life with as few of them as possible. 
So this voice might be slightly on the lighter side, but I'll do my best. When it gets to the more serious moments though, we might get a little bit more dour, but let me just make sure everyone's up to scratch. Everyone's leveled up. Okay, quick slowly push, make sure everyone's all leveled up. Restock everyone's potions, make sure they're all doing well. I will not stand for this outrage. That's right, you'll fall for it. An avatar of divinity. I don't know who dares to push, but I dare to smack down. Enough! I will destroy you where you stand. So I do not appreciate the way that you talk to my friends. If you deserve. No. Morgan, you need to get up. that we have a dragon to fight. I'm glad I brought Iron Bull in it. That's... In that case, come on. Oh, we got some good practice in tonight. Voices for extra special occasions. Or maybe I have to make the pick my voice more specific in the future. I just glad we got some practice tonight for some dragon slaying. But we do come to the end of that pick my voice, thank you. I suppose to Samwell for requesting Cam the Frog as we enter the climactic finale of this fight against Corypheus. Thank you. And I hope you're enjoying yourself tonight. Where's Cole? Where's my boy? What have you done to my boy? There he is, he's right underneath the dragon. Shit. Okay, he's up. Good, good, good. Thank you for that solace. 
I'm making you drink a potion, goddammit. Fine. Or not for some reason, I don't know. We're almost there though. Come on. Okay, there we go. I'll have a look at my current channel points and uh, the redeem options and maybe uh, play around with them a little bit. Okay, everyone. Heal up. Can we save? Yep, thought not. Wish me luck, guys. Final fight against Corypheus. We got this. Almost, almost. Yes, yes, yes. Not like this. I have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. <laughs> I think we should go, guys. Let's let's go. But hey, Gropius is down. And yes, Scarlet, this is the end of the main game. Thank you so much for the resub, Portugals. Really appreciate it. Oh, Solus. Solus? Your... I know you wanted the orb saved. 
I'm so sorry. It is not your fault. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way. No matter what comes, I want you to know that what we had was real. Inquisitor, are you alive? <laughs> Just suffering from a minor case of feels. Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And it seems the breach is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. And that's the big finale, guys. That was the final boss fight for this game. And oh boy, I'm, I'm really glad of the pacing of uh, tonight's stream, us fighting the dragon as warm up and then that final face off, fuck yes. And yes, it did look indeed like so scrambled out of there. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, my beautiful companions, you all look so wonderful. And all my loyal followers. Agents have found no trace of Solus. Oh. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. I just don't understand. He didn't even say goodbye. The two of you were close. Perhaps he had no choice. He might return at any moment. Maybe. Hmm. Mm. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Corypheus needed to be stopped. And you are the one who stopped him. Fuck yeah, we Previously, did. Previously, you were an upstart, a Dalish elf leading a band of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Excuse me. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. I think I will. 
I'm just gonna say it again. I I'm so proud of how our Inquisitor looks. Like she looks like lovely and natural and she feels like she fits in with the world and doesn't feel too out of place in it. So I'm I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. But we need to have a quick chat with all of our companions. All this pomp and ceremony. Can't top seeing that bastard Corypheus burn. No matter what happens to me now, I can say I was there. I helped you bring him down. It took all of us, but we did it. I shudder to think where we'd be without you leading us. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. Absolutely. I'll be ready. Fuck yes. Honestly, I wear skinny jeans on a daily basis when I have to commute into my day job, so... Wearing skinny jeans on a daily basis, like, around, like, while doing a, min a million different tasks and saving the world, I get that. I feel that. Am I imagining it? Or do we have a moment to breathe? It's hard to believe. <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. Conclave? Haven? It seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks pride in their voices some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home but many would follow us still you are proof that the inquisition has made a difference and that we will continue to do so you ran the army not me our soldiers put their trust in you cullen i appreciate everything you've done it's been an honor truly i should let you mingle i'm sure everyone desires your attention enjoy the party Everyone desires my attention and my company, except Solus. Okay. Ironful, how are you doing, darling? That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. Fuck yes. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. The Ben Hathrath are still worried about the Inquisition's power. Happy Corypheus is dead, though. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the queue. I hope the Ben Hathrath appreciates the good work you've done here. It's not about appreciation under the queue. It's about doing the job, belonging, and we've got some time. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. Mm. But not tonight. Tonight, we get shit faced one last time. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. It, it, because like Ironfall is so much taller and so much larger than everyone. Um, it, it looks weird seeing like a pint glass in his hand being used like just a regular cup. It's quite impressive, actually. And honestly, I'm one of those people like I can't get shit faced because I just I hate getting drunk so much. I hate it so much. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. Hmm. Right now, I'm thinking. Shit is weird. The Inquisitor Lavellan story. It's a working title. Honestly, it's not the worst title I've heard. Um, there's a there's a book on my to read list called um, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, it's a book on my to read list called Man, Fuck This House, and it's a horror novel about like a family that moves into a haunted house. And honestly. Yes, I'm very down with that title, uh, Varric. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the mm. free marches as soon as I get back. Oops. I don't want to be too noble. You should stay with me. The Inquisition could still use you here. That's generous of you, but it's past time that I went back and took care of things in Kirkwall. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. 
Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. <laughs> he does. Indeed he does. Uh, anyone else? Um, Cole, darling, angel, sweetie, how are you feeling? Thank you for finding the amulet and making it work. I felt him try and fail before we beat him. He would have made me a monster. But instead, he's dead. And I'm free. You're safe. You need never worry about anyone binding you. Thank you. I, I think I could return to Fade if I tried. I'm light enough to slip through. But I'd like to stay and help for a yes. while. Yes. If that's all right. Absolutely. I can still help people here. For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Sarah. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. Hmm. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. Just don't overthink it, Sarah. Just celebrate. Let the philosophers worry about that. Tonight is for celebrating. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royale. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Yeah. Or whatever? Absolutely. This is home if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry. I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. Hell yes. I imagine like Sarah is like, she's definitely grown on me more and more. Um, I think even just during this run that I've been playing with you guys, I've interacted with her a lot more. And she struck me a lot more as like the younger sibling that you walk past and you like ruffle their hair and she, they're just like, ah, fuck off. <laughs> Like, because I do agree that she's, um, I understand why some people don't like her, but, um, I, she's, she's definitely grown on me. I was passing through the hall this morning Hi. and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything, such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your way. You enjoy it. Admit it, you're having a ball. <laughs> Don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good Tabitha. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. I appreciate everything you've done for us. So you should. Being appreciated is a nice change of pace, though. I'm also pleased to come out of it alive. I wasn't expecting that. You thought you'd die. Didn't you? The hero dies in all the best stories. Anything else just sounds so implausible. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will. Devinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Hi, Josephine. Ugh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. It's wonderful, Josephine. You're overthinking things. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster late, the invitation to our guest barely went out at all, and, and uh, it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Oh. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Thedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You helped us. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. 
but for tonight, to victory. Liliana, how are you? Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the petit four. I must remember to thank her for the trouble. <laughs> She's been craving the cakes from Madame Lucien's shop for months. This celebration gave her the perfect excuse. To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. Honestly, like, that's one thing I've been, like, really missing recently is, um, like, uh, cakes. I've been really good for, like, eating clean, eating healthy and all that good stuff. But I really miss, like, a good slice of cake. I might treat myself to that this weekend. Hi. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry. Build the Inquisition from nothing. Defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are. Celebrating. Hmm. Thank you for the hydrate and the stretch check. Oh. And yeah, sometimes there's a little bit at odd angles when I just happen to I run over and stop. Oh. I believe the Chantry intends to name me Divine very soon. It would not have been possible without your support and friendship. Oh, really? It means a great deal to me. Um, I thought I picked Liliana as that, but you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. And to me. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are the Inquisitor. A symbol of hope and change to so many. And you are my friend. How did that happen, I wonder? I'm pleased it did. You are a great woman and I will always stand at your side. Hi, Lady Vivian. So much to do, my dear. Elections for Grand Enchanter must be held, and many of the circles lack even interim first enchanters. It will take time, and it may not be possible to restore the history that was lost, but we will reinstate the circles. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. I'm actually enjoying it. As a matter of fact, I am. And well, you should. It's a miracle we survived this ordeal. Go mingle. The night is still young. Oh, did I back Cassandra earlier in the game? Um, honestly, I've forgotten about it, if that's the case. But I'm just going to let fate take what it will with this. Um... Yeah, it's a little bit of an anno annoying mechanic, but I'm just gonna see what happens, to be honest. Um, yeah, it would have been, like, weeks, if not maybe, like, a month or two ago. Um, mm, we'll see how things go, but, um, I think I've spoken to everyone, so let's retire to my quarters. Oh... My beautiful companions. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, but a new war rages in the shadows. Mm. Gaspar, it seems, has learned his lesson well. Even the elves have no rest, with Briala's uprising rocking the empire to its core. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. 
Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. Those Grey Wardens who survived the Battle at Adamant ventured north into exile. They returned to the mighty fortress of Weishaupt, and word slowly spreads that a battle for control of the Order has erupted. Mm. If Hawk reaches Weishaupt with them, is unknown. Indeed, before long, all news out of Weishaupt ends. Slowly, the Wardens withdraw from across the North as well. Some believe the ancient Order is on the verge of vanishing forever. One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Okay. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar Order, and a new Circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent. A proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. In the end, they refuse Cassandra's invitation to rejoin the Circle of Magi and instead reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. From the beginning, the College and the Circle have clashed, and some fear it will lead to a new war of the mages upon themselves. So that happened. It must have been something that I did several weeks and ago. What of the Inquisition oh. itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. And that was Dragon Age Inquisition. The main game, at least. Um, I do still plan on playing Trespasser, the, uh, essentially the epilogue of this game, because there's some loose threads that need to be wrapped up. And I don't know what happened with earlier in the game. Maybe I had supported Cassandra earlier and I just didn't realize it, but that's okay. That's okay. What matters is that we all had an amazing time together with this game and we will be continuing probably maybe for like two to maybe three more streams uh with the epilogue um so we're not saying uh farewell at any point at any uh anytime soon with this game we're probably going to keep playing it for another few weeks uh until we get like to the end of the full story um but i'm I didn't expect that we would actually be reaching the epilogue, uh, not the epilogue, um, reaching the end of the game tonight. So, thank you all so much for joining me tonight, um, as we, uh, took on the final battle. I was a little bit nervous, but we were strong enough to get through it, and that's what matters. And Corypheus is now somewhere in the Fade. Solus is nowhere to be seen. But we will see how things go. And yeah, honestly, that's one of the downsides about uh, streaming games is that because you do have, unless you're streaming the same game day after day in your schedule, um, sometimes you can lose track uh, of what choices you've made, especially if you're playing a game like this where your decisions like earlier in the game affect like can, like really important decisions or like solid choices that are made later on. But yeah, what matters is that we had fun, 
And I hope you guys had fun as well. And I, d well, we are going to be playing um, a little bit more Dragon Age to do the epilogue and everything. Um, I do have some ideas in mind for what I want to stream for the next game, but I just want to try them out a little bit first, just to make sure that my PC can run them smoothly and all that. Um, uh, first you, from 1 to 10, how did you like it? Um, for me, personally, uh, I have to say, if you ask me this, that question maybe like, um, five or so years, not, is it five years? Like, maybe three or four years ago when I was playing this game like religiously again and again and again I would give this maybe a solid nine but I have to say asking me now I think for me it's maybe a solid seven like I really enjoy this game but now that I've played a lot more modern games um it's maybe small me just just a little bit but i would say for me this is like a solid seven and a half like i love this game i love the characters i love the story definitely there's some things that can be improved upon in terms of not just like fine tuning things but also making some things feel more substantial um as you're playing it but that's just me Everyone can take solace in the fact there's more Dragon Age in the future. Um, yeah, without saying too much, um, I was given like maybe like a little bit of a peek behind the curtain uh, by someone that I'm very excited for the next one. Um, that's all I'll say is I'm very excited for the next one and I'm... It's one of those things, like, because I've been playing the Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access for months now. And I've been loving the small snippets that we've seen so far. And I know the full game is coming out next year because they've said it's coming out in 2023. I think, honestly, with this game, like, with uh, the fourth Dragon Age game, it's one of those things, like, I think we just want that to know what's happening next like we got a teaser maybe like four years ago or something I think it's long overdue that we received just a little bit of an update like even just a behind the scenes thing so we can see a glimpse of what it's going to look like would be wonderful I, I don't have a guy on the inside I have like an extended friend of a friend who maybe told me a little bit about like what maybe might be in the game but that's all I can uh, all I can say is that I'm very excited for what lies ahead in the next one. Um, and yes, uh, so yeah, 2023 is the rough uh, release for Baldur's Gate 3 for the full game. Um, but yes, I, I don't have any like in super secret inside knowledge, just like I'm very excited for what lies ahead with this game. Not this game, but like the next one in the series. I'm excited for the new companions that we'll encounter and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, who knows, not the next game, but maybe the game after. Who knows if things work out well in my career as a voice actor and my aspirations to do training for motion capture. Who knows, I might be in one of these games one day, which would be absolutely amazing. And when that day comes, I hope you all remember this stream and uh, this series of streams that I've been doing with playing this game. And you can only just imagine the joy on my face as I get to be a part of this amazing world. Oh. But I love this game. I love this game so much. I've put so many hours in this game. Oh, Hayden. I hope you remember us little insignificance at that time. Of course. Of course. Like, honestly, I'm still in awe of just how far I've come as a, like, content creator and, like, then stepping into my career as a voice actor like who knows where I'll, where I'll be in like five 
10 years like in 10 years only like 41 that's a terrifying thought um but i'm just enjoying the journey and uh seeing how things go but i for those of you who are not just in my chat but in my community as a whole like if i ever have the honor to be a part of like the dragon age universe or work with like any of the amazing people that are in the credits that are scrolling past now just remember that you're a part of my community and how like the sheer amount of joy that i would have been feeling being a part of such an amazing production and all the good stuff uh, i'm just looking through the credits of all the voices God, they had some amazing talent in this game. <laughs> oh no, like I Claudia Black is like is is Morrigan, like cannot ever replace her voice. But maybe like uh another maybe even like an apostate Dalish character or something like that. Um not of course like the same as Solus, but maybe like a similar kind of like sage, like uh uh, kind of companion or like as I think as we were talking about this a couple of streams ago like if I was going to be in a Dragon Age game what kind of companion would I be like come on you could also maybe imagine me as a canary maybe if I lower the pitch of my voice a little bit I get a bit more husky and muscular maybe something like that it's not like I like you or anything <laughs> Oh, but this has been great. <laughs> God, 2014. All of the copyrights. God, I feel old. <laughs> if you voiced a Kuhn character, I hope you use Glash's voice. Well, only time will tell, won't it? Only time will tell. Oh, this is great. Now they'll give you a complete curveball and have you do a dwarf character. <laughs> like, who knows? Who knows what lies ahead in my future as a voice actor? I'm just excited to see where it goes. Oh? Hope you guys haven't wandered off too far. I knew you would come. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people. They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well, old friend. May the Dread Wolf take you. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's stream. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening. Um, so, as a reminder, I will be playing the trespasser dlc i won't be doing all of the dlcs just the trespasser one to do the full epilogue and get the full scope of the story um so be sure to join me next week as uh we continue with dragon age inquisition 
And I've had some ideas for what I want to play after I finish uh, this series of streams. But I'm just going to test some things out and make sure that they run smoothly and everything like that. Um, but thank you all so very much for joining me this evening. If you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following me. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. And be sure to check out my other socials that are in the chat right now, including my Twitter, which uh, has my important updates and occasional shenanigans, and my YouTube for my ASMR tales. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, uh, I have a brand new ASMR tale that's coming out tomorrow evening featuring an incredibly talented ASMRist that I've been delighted to work with. I've been a huge fan of their content for a very, very long time and I'm just so ecstatic that they wanted to work with me. And so I hope you're all very excited for that. And be sure to check out my Instagram for lovely pictures and all that. And thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. Let's see who's currently streaming. Let's go give some love to Deck Art Games because they are wonderful and amazing and I love them and they're so cool. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, it's a long weekend over here in the UK and I will be taking care of myself. I'm going to go see uh, the second Sonic movie tomorrow and I'm very excited for that. Fuck yes. Um, but thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Remember to unplug the sparking audio equipment. I will do that. Thank you for reminding me actually. I do appreciate that. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Thank you huge for all the bits, the resubs, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for your amazing support. And we will continue with some more Dragon Age Inquisition Trespasser next Friday. And be sure to join me on Sunday for more Persona 4. So thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And remember, take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always stay wicked and wonderful good night guys